the most powerful feature that Twitter has is the advanced search. Even though I've been on Twitter for more than 10 years, until recently, I hadn't actually heard of advanced search, but now I use it all the time. Here are six features of Twitter advanced search that will revolutionize the way that you search for your information on Twitter. So before we get into these Twitter advanced search features, you might be wondering why you need them at all. Well, the reason is that when you look at your Twitter feed, it actually only shows you what is happening now and what information is available now. There is a whole wealth of gold right there in all the archives of all the people you follow, of all the amazing experts that are online. And if you can work out how to use the Twitter advanced search feature well, you will be able to find all the information you need and you'll be make sure that you are reading stuff that is relevant and useful to you from the people that you love and whose advice and experience you value. And here's how you do it. Any of these Twitter advanced search features can be typed right into the search bar that appears on your mobile app or on your Twitter desktop app. You don't need to go to the special advanced search page, which they do have on desktop, but not on mobile, but actually Twitter makes it quite tricky to find it. So right in your regular search bar, you can put any of this text and it'll work. Let's get into it. Number one, when you want to see tweets from a particular person and maybe tweets from them to a particular person, there's a really easy way to do that. You just put from colon their username into the search box. So if it was me, you just put from colon Tessa R. Davis. And if you wanted to see tweets I had made to Andrew Tag, for example, one of my buddies, then you could put from colon Tess R. Davis to colon Andrew J. Tag, and that would show you the interactions that we've had on Twitter. You could do this with any username and it works a treat. Number two, find tweets on particular topics. So if you wanted to see what I've been saying on Twitter about presentations, for example, you would put in the search bar from colon Tess R. Davis, and then you put presentations, and you'll see all the tweets from me with the word presentations in it. If you want to exclude a particular term, like for example, you want to see stuff that I've said on Twitter about presentations, but you don't want to read about Zoom, you would use the hyphen. So the hyphen means you're excluding certain terms. So you'd put from colon Tessa R. Davis, presentations, and then hyphen Zoom. There you'd see everything I've tweeted about presentations and it would exclude all the tweets about Zoom. If you put your search term in inverted commas, it will show the exact search term rather than the phrase or things that are similar to it. So if you just wanted presentations with no variation, you would put that in inverted commas. If you take it out of inverted commas, then it will be more flexible on the use of the search term you've put in. Number three, find tweets that are popular. So sometimes you might want to look only at tweets that are particularly popular from someone you follow, maybe to see what your own most popular tweets are, or to look at popular tweets on a given topic. And you can do this easily using advanced search. So you can do this by looking at the number of retweets, the number of likes, or the number of replies that a tweet has had. And you can set the minimum value you want to see. So there's three terms you need here. It's min underscore retweets, min underscore faves, and min underscore replies. And you use each of these with a colon after it, and then put the number that you want. So if you want to see any tweets that I've made that have got more than 2000 likes, for example, you would write from colon Tessa R. Davis, min underscore faves, Faves colon 2000. And if you wanted them to be on a particular topic, you would then put the name of the topic next to it. So presentations. So that will show you all the tweets I've made on presentations that have a minimum of 2000 likes. There may be none. Number four, sometimes you might only want to see particular types of tweets. And there's a few options that you have here. You can do it, look for tweets that have links in them. You can look for tweets that have media files attached to them. You do this using filter colon. So you put filter colon links, filter colon images, filter colon media. And again, combine these with all of your search terms that we've discussed already to put what, whatever row of text you want in the search box and it will combine all of these together to give you your advanced search. This is particularly useful if you've got a graphic or image that you've seen on Twitter before that someone's posted and you cannot manage to find it. So for example, I posted a video of my dog at a polling station on Twitter. If you really wanted to see Murphy when he cast his vote, you could put in the search terms from colon Tessa R. Davis and then I'd put the word polling or you could put the whole hashtag dogs at polling stations and then filter colon images and you'll come up 
with a picture of my lovely dog Murphy when we took him to the polling station. Number five, tweets from a particular time period. Sometimes you want to only see tweets between certain months or certain years and this might be because you're trying to find something that someone's posted during a particular time period and Twitter has a great advanced search feature for this which is using since or until and then you follow that with the date. The trickiest part about this is remembering what the date format is but the format that you need to use is year 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 dash month month dash day day and as long as you get that right then you're not going to make any mistakes here. So if you wanted to see tweets that I'd posted in 2021 that contained links you'd put from colon Tessa R Davis since colon 2021-01-01 so since the 1st of January 2021 and then you'd put until colon 2021-12-31 so until the 31st of December 2021 if you want them just to be links you'd then put filter colon links there you go you're going to get all the content that I've posted in 2021 that contains links number six find tweets by location sometimes you might want to see local information so people have posted around you if there's something happening in your area and you can actually filter to only include posts within a specific area. So if you want tweets in a particular city, then you put near colon and then the name of that city. And if you want to restrict it to within a particular distance of that city, you put within colon and then a number of miles. I'm from Glasgow. If I wanted to see tweets that were from Glasgow or within 10 miles, I would put near colon Glasgow and then I put within colon 10 MI. So that's my six tips, but there's one place where people most commonly go wrong. This is the most common problem when people message me and they say, I've tried your search terms and they're not working. It's because they've put sneaky random spaces in the search terms. So don't do that. For each of these search terms, there is no space. If you were saying from Tessa R. Davis, you'd say from colon Tessa R. Davis with no space. If it's near Glasgow, it's near colon Glasgow, no spaces. You do put a space in between the next search term when you're putting it all in your search box, but there should be no space within the search term. Otherwise it won't work. And that's it. Top six Twitter advanced search features. If you enjoyed this, you'll love my video on seven Zoom hacks, which you can see up here.